Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 15th of 2022, well, it is titled Wolf's Cave Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we have a region of space with a number of different types of nebulae present within it. And we see uh, actually we see the reflection nebula in the blue uh, at kind of the tip of that dust uh, patch going from the left hand side and then curving to the upper right. That blue is a reflection nebula which is caused by dust. Now the dust is very good at scattering the light and especially good at scattering blue light. So the blue light is scattered and appears to come from all over the nebula. Well, the longer wavelength red light is able to pass through the nebula. Now the dark dustier areas around that are actually a dark nebula. So regions where light is being blocked out. So you see some very dark areas where light is completely blocked out and you can see nothing behind it, even though we know that there are plenty of stars there. And you see some less dark areas where the dust just dims and reddens the color of the light coming from the stars behind it. Now those aren't the only nebulae in this image. We also see uh, others. These the first two those are associated with star formation and the beginnings of the lives of stars. Some of the other nebulae are associated with the end of the lives of stars and that includes the planetary nebula down to the bottom which is kind of a blue and a red color there. That is an example of a planetary nebula, which is the end state of a star, much like our own sun. So when the star like the sun comes to the end of its life, it will expel its outer layers out into space in a planetary nebula and may look something like this one. Although there are many varieties of planetary nebulae that exist, so the exact structure depends on the way the planetary nebula formed. The last one we want to look at is kind of that line of red gas a little bit to the right of the planetary nebula and stretching all the way up to the reflection nebula up there. That is a portion of a supernova remnant. So material still expanding out into space from a long ago supernova where a star exploded. And we're still seeing the shock waves of that traveling out through space and here illuminating other uh, gas and dust in space. Now the planetary nebula and the uh, supernova remnant are ways that material is pushed back into the interstellar medium after stars have formed. So stars form from that gas and dust, but they also expel material back out to form future generations of stars. And those new generations come from material that has been enriched in heavier elements. So it has a little bit higher percentage of the heavier elements, those things other than hydrogen and helium, than the original material that formed those stars. And over many generations of stars over the history of our galaxy, the material has become enriched enough that stars like our sun could form with planets like Earth containing large proportions of these heavier elements. So that was our picture of the day for November 15th of 2022. It was titled Wolf's Cave Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.